My name is Paul Walker. Uh, I'm the uh, director of the Environmental Security and Sustainability Program of Green Cross International. It's important to recognize, for example, that the single entities emit more carbon emissions than any other company or corporation in the world. So when we talk about carbon emissions, we're also talking about limiting uh, exercise, training, uh, fighting, battlefield fighting and all, of militaries, particularly the big militaries, uh, NATO policy, uh, U.S. military policy, uh, Russia, China, uh, India, <clears throat> and others. Um, my hope really for COP21 is that, you know, we, uh, as we say, we've got to put actions behind these good words and pledges that countries are making. As you know, Green Cross is active in, in uh, not only uh, climate change issues, we're active in uh, protection of natural resources, we're active in public environmental education, we're active in weapons destruction and the bridge between um, peace, uh, justice, environmental protection and good public health. And I think what we need is more public awareness of the holistic and interrelated nature of all of these issues. If we want good public health, if we want uh, good uh, poverty erad eradication, we want good public education, we want good environmental uh, protection. We have to connect all of these issues together because they are connected and in fact begin to help protect the very fragile planet that we live on today. Marie-Laure Vercambre, Marie-Laure Vercambre. I am the Freshwater Program Director at Green Cross International, an issue that we've been, on which we've been working for more than a decade and that is uh, the transboundary water um, has you know, known a very important development with the entry into force of the first global water convention. And this is really something we've been working on a lot, working with governments and with all stakeholders to accompany the decision making um, in these countries so that the countries would ratify this convention. And um, Green Cross was one of the two NGOs to participate to the first meeting of the parties uh, two weeks ago at UNESCO and I'm talking about the entry into force of what's called the UN Watercourses Convention. The UN Watercourses Convention has finally entered into force. It's a very important development because uh, when we talk about transboundary waters we talk about 60% of all fresh water owners. So it looks a bit macro, it looks very global compared to economy and the industry, but it's really what's in, in it, that's really about the, frame, the framework. It's really about how countries are going to agree on how water is going to be uh, conserved, how it's going to be shared equally, and how can, it's going to be managed jointly by the countries that share these waters. So it's extremely important that the right legal frameworks are there to support all human activities. So it's a very important development and we're very happy about that. Green Cross has also been uh, involved in uh, several COPs, uh, Conference of the Parties um, on Climate Change. We have advocated for a few years now with the AGWA platform, uh, which is a platform of water experts, policy experts. Uh, we've been advocated so that water is better addressed in the um, climate frameworks, future frameworks, because what is a climate change? Climate change is really water change. So it's really very strange that water is actually not addressed in the climate change uh, future framework. It hasn't been discussed. We haven't made it to have it properly uh, integrated in the discussions. So we really hope that actually there will be an important framework, something that allows important developments such as water. We, at some point, we advocated so that there was a working group on water, like there was one on agriculture and on forests. It hasn't happened. The, the, the negotiators were not ready for that. They were, they were still stuck at an earlier stage of the agreement. So we really hope that COP21 is going to be the beginning of something really new. There will be a water day during COP21, and we will take part to that. Um, and we hope that it will be the first step of more mobilization around water issues. In fact, I'm very delighted and honored uh, by the award given by Green Cross International today to me. My name is Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. I am chairman of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on the Ministry of Environment and Forest in Bangladesh. Uh, before I was Minister for Environment and Forest from 2009 to 2013. Uh, so, 
uh, in fact, this is a, a great honor to me and I want to register my thanks to Green Cross International. Regarding COP21, in fact, uh, this planet Earth is the only lifeboat for human in the universe. Universe is so big, 4.5 billion years ago, this planet Earth was created. Since then, light with a velocity, 186,000 miles per second is traveling, but it's still many, uh, from many stars, uh, light has not been reached to the planet. But in this big universe, this planet Earth is the only life boat for human. And uh, uh, sources are limited in this planet, but we, political leadership, very often, we don't understand the magnitude of the problem, the complexity of the problem. So I believe in COP21, this is important for humanity, this is important for the mankind to come to a consensus, to come to a consensus to have a legally binding agreement in Paris, in COP21. And for that, we should not stick to the points of national interest. We should look at the interest of the humanity to sustain human being in this planet. We must bear in mind, planet Earth does not need the uh, human, human, human being in this planet for its existence, but we need the planet Earth and the environment, very environment, for our existence. Alors, je m'appelle Maria Vitaliano, je suis la directrice du programme international de médecine sociale de Green Cross et je m'occupe de, de projets euh, pour des gens qui vivent dans des zones contaminées. Et pour le futur, moi je pense que c'est très important de faire euh, des suivants comme ça, si, si c'est important, parce que je pense que euh, se retrouver Penser ensemble en commun un futur, ça nous donne la possibilité aussi de répondre aux besoins euh, beaucoup euh, très urgents de notre, euh, de notre société, tout en tenant compte euh, que si chacun d'entre nous fait quelque chose, donne un petit, euh, une petite contribution, nous pouvons faire beaucoup pour le futur de ce planète et pour les gens qui habitent. My name is Nazia Mestawi, I'm an artist and uh, I'm here today to present One Heart One Tree, which is an artwork that I created uh, for the COP21 and it's going to transform the Eiffel Tower into a virtual forest. So it's a collective piece of art that involves all citizens from all over the world uh, to get involved into the COP21 and to be active in fact, because they're all going to be part of One Heart One Tree and they're going to project their name on the Eiffel Tower with a virtual tree that they generated through an application with their heartbeat. And then each virtual tree is going to grow in real life, planted in a reforestation program. So everybody is going to have a real impact and a long-term impact through this artwork. And the concept for this COP21 is uh, to say that we can all have a positive impact, whether we are uh, politicians, whether we come from a government, or even if we are any citizen coming from anywhere in the world, we can all have a strong impact. And I think that's the most important message, that we need to feel responsible for our collective future. My name is Stephen Robinson. I'm working with Green Cross Switzerland as a unit manager responsible for the legacy program, which deals with the legacy of the arms race of the Cold War, as well as the water program, which is addressing in a preventive and a reactive way pollution issues related to hazardous wastes. I'm hoping that to this year's General Assembly will lay the foundation for further expanding the good work of Green Cross International and contributing in a relevant way to all the problems of the environment this world is facing today and will continue to face for the coming decades. I'm Les McCabe, I'm the President and CEO of Global Green USA. Operations for the summit with Green Cross International in Geneva this year in 2015 are really to network with colleagues and other affiliates throughout the world to learn more about the programs they're doing, how those relate to what we're doing in the United States, and where we can help and support one another to uh, be more effective in the type of work we do 
uh, in environmental affairs and combating climate change. Uh, my own philosophical feeling about uh, what other countries can and in fact should be doing are centered around education and the importance of educating people at a young age about the environment uh, and the world in which they live uh, rather than waiting into adulthood so that children are enculturated into a belief and understanding of the importance of maintaining the environment, maintaining uh, Mother Nature, planet Earth where we all have to live uh, and making education a part of the curriculum of every student in every school in the world uh, so that they understand fully how our world is and should be treated. Hello, my name is William Bridge and I work with Global Green USA based out of Santa Monica, California and I'm thrilled to be here today and I appreciate the opportunity as the United States arm of Green Cross International. My expectations from this summit would be an opportunity to meet the other countries, the individuals that are representing the other countries with Green Cross and learn how we can all collaborate together for continued partnership to save our planet. So I think with COP21 coming up, what we could do all collectively as a whole would be to understand our individual strengths and collaborate together representing each individual strength, creating a better, stronger imprint platform with what we can do with our environment moving forward.